Good morning, church family. This is Pastor Bob, and I'm with Pastor Kathleen, and we're doing our inspirational moment for you all. And I want you to know that today is a beautiful day, and we are absolutely not worried anything about what's going on in our global area or our, our church or in our area because we know that God is in total control. And what we're going to share with you today, you will understand that we depend upon this our Lord's power and His love to, to see us through this. And we will make it through this. But we will make it through with His guidance and His way of sharing with us today. And so we're going to share these things with you. I am going to share with you a little bit about uh, God's power. And it's actually from Ephesians 1, 19 and 20. Listen to these wonderful words. Understand the incredible greatness of his power for us who believe him. This is the same mighty power that raised Christ from the dead. Wow, when you think about that, that we can't even imagine the power that came when Christ had died on that horrible cross, laid in his tomb until the third morning, and then God in his power raised him to life. Now listen what this word says. Think about the power that God exerted when Christ was resurrected. That power took on the sin of the world and destroyed it. It took the shackles from death and demolished it. What? Awesome words, Pastor Kathleen, yeah. aren't they? Absolutely inspiring. Just, just feels you. Yes. I, I just, to yes. me, it demolished it. It destroyed it. In other words, we don't have to worry anything about sin Amen. anymore. Amen. Isn't that great? Amen. That's, Amen. that's just awesome. And it forever changed how humanity relates to God. Our relationship to God changed immensely when Jesus rose from the dead. Yes. We then became righteous when we said, yes. Lord, forgive me. Yes. And, and just and we've been given that power. Yeah. We've, we've been, been given, given that us. power to claim. Right. And it strengthens us when we cry out to the Father. It, yes. it just uplifts me today. Yes. And we're hoping we uplift you today. Yes. And, and saying, don't worry about this. Don't be afraid, because we're going to make it through it. Amen. No small power was exerted there. Mm. In fact, the imagination can barely conceive it. Yet it is the same power that has been given to help you in our every need. Amen. Wow. We can depend on that. You have not been left alone to fend for yourself. So we're not alone. No, we're not. And that's a promise. You know, Hebrews. Uh, thank you. His yeah. word shares never forsakes us and leaves us. And right. if we just wait on him, we are strengthened in a time of, of, of this time that we're walking in. It, yes. it, it, I love the word you said, promise. Yes. When God promises something, what happens? We, it moves. It moves. He witnesses to us what he has done and who he is through that majestic way uh, of, it happens. of his power. Yeah. It witnesses that our Father God is doing what needs to be done. Would you share, I think there's another uh, psalm, would you like to share with us what that psalm is? Yes, I will do that. And that comes from Psalms 68, verse 35. Okay. You, God, are awesome in your sanctuary. The God of Israel gives power and strength to his people. Praise be to God. That is powerful mm -hmm. to know. He is awesome, and he gives us power, as you said earlier in, in the starting of our time. That power is given to us. Uh, yeah, and, we can cry uh, yeah. out to him, mm -hmm. and we can pull it down, and the Father will just pour it out on his children. Yeah. Yes. We have someone who came today and might like to just share a few minutes, uh, and it's Linda Gale, who is my better half, of course, uh, but she wants to just sh share a little bit about the power she felt from God. And Linda Gale, are you here? I am here. Can you come over here and just join us up here? Stay six feet apart because we want to be safe. Uh, but we'd just like to ask you if you just want to take just a minute or two to share anything that comes to your mind about the power of God. If I sit here, is that all right? Yeah, yeah. it's wonderful. Okay. Well, first thing, when you talked about that, may I share about how we saw that? That, sure. little, that message was our devotion this morning. And I told Bob, I said, Bob, this is awesome. So uh, we shared that same devotion this morning about the power. But it reminds me, of course, of Psalms. The same power that raised Jesus from the dead, the same power that raised Jesus from the Amen. dead, we sing that. 
lives in us. Yes. And uh, I think we, you know, we need to remember yes. that, that it lives in us through the Holy Spirit. Amen. Then on the way down the road, I was uh, rocking out with the eye of the storm mm -hmm. on the radio. And um, the words that came after that, just from the disc jockey, I guess, was that um, what we need to do first is eliminate the fear yes. when we pray to God about a situation and I ask him to eliminate the fear and then the message or the action can take place. Amen. Um, but Amen. we need to eliminate the fear first. No, thank Amen. you. They're great words. Thank, thank you, you uh, Gail. appreciate that. Thank you. Um, the root, in finishing up our time together, uh, just remember, God is in total control. He loves us deeply. We are his people. We have his power. It says in conclusion, you have not been left alone to fend for yourself. God has given you his great power. Rejoice today that you will never have a problem that requires more power than that. Wow. So, I don't know how you feel about those words, but we are dependent upon a God whose power is beyond our, our imagination. We are, Pastor. We, we, we are given so much of that inspiration with that connection of knowing that, you know what, that power is from the Almighty One who created everything. And He does strengthen us in times of this, this That's trouble. That's true. He does strengthen us. Well, let's close with this prayer, okay, if, if it's okay. Mm -hmm. Dear God, I cannot think of a situation that needs more power than the resurrection. Thank you for making that power available to us. Amen. Amen. Well, thank you for listening, folks. We're going to uh, leave you with those inspirational thoughts today. Yes. Thank you, Gail, for joining us for a few moments. Thank you, Cecile. Yeah. And I'm sure Bill appreciate the fact about that song you mentioned. He would like that. Yeah. <laughs> Amen, folks. Have a blessed day.